What the fuck is sleep? I don't even know what that is. Just call me a boy with that thing. Hold up and watch that bitch in. Hey, shout out What Sleep TV, man. What Sleep TV. I ain't no sleep, motherfucker. What's your opinion on loops? Because I've interviewed a few producers. I had one producer say, you ain't no real producer if you use loops. And, uh, and another producer is like, I don't see nothing wrong with it. Like, the majority of producers use loops. What's your opinion on loops? Back when I was making beats, mm -hmm. I, I don't think loops was a thing, but I didn't really, even ever it, use loops. Back, you know, I remember when we first started, man, loops wasn't really something we would hear about. You know right. what I'm saying? We never Now really, it's normal. Like, it's, I hear that shit it's all the a, time. It's a normal. It's just something that goes in pro into producing. Yeah. So, like, I say, me personally, honestly, 70% of me will say, don't use loops. Why? The reason I say that is because, now, me personally, I always figure, well, shit, dog can make it, why can't I make it? See what I'm saying? Now, we might not have the same instruments, VSTs, or whatever, but it's like, shit, if he can go on this way, what's stopping me from learning something similar and create my own way from that type shit? You see what I'm saying? So, I'd rather, I'd rather sit down and take the time and make my own loop and bring out my own creativity rather than being a producer that relies on loops type shit because you got to think about it bro let's say one of these days you get called to them real rooms you know what i'm saying and and bro wants you to make some shit from scratch you know what i'm saying okay and let's say you ain't got no new loops or nothing right you gonna have to use your head to come up with that melody to make some fire shit that dog is expecting to hear because you've been using these other niggas loops so i'm saying so when you get in front of him you on them loud ass speakers and that shit ain't so i'm saying it's kind of like damn kind of got exposed you know what i'm saying yeah. like you just you just a, a drum man bro you don't really know how to create for real so i'm saying it's a difference between being a beat maker and a producer right and people be and people get technical with that shit too like all producers play every day they supposed to play the keys they supposed to play the drums loud no it's not like pro for me producing is actually using your motherfucking head and translating to your fingers and your ears you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. it's called music theory you know what I'm saying? i know you heard of that yeah. yeah music theory so i just feel like bro if you if you plan on being a producer not a beat maker you need to know how to make your own shit for real. Not saying anything is wrong with loops, cause you know what I'm saying. Most days, even the best producers get stuck, and they might need to. Man, let me see what dog talking about. All right, I can do something with this. You feel me? It's a win-win for everybody. But at the same time, if you really want to like, if you up and coming and you really want to do this shit for real, like learn the ins and outs of what producing a beat is you need to learn how to make your own melodies hands down i swear to god because like i said it's, it might be a day you get called into one of the rooms and you don't know what the hell you doing for real they gonna look at you like the fuck yeah. you know what i'm saying like and and i'm speaking from experience because i done been in rooms and every single beat i play i did everything by myself and they might not be in fun when I play it. So they like, shit, you can make something from scratch real quick. Hell yeah. yeah. Cause I know how to make my own beats for real. Instead of me, damn, let me go to the email real quick, see if dog got some fire shit. Damn, I already used that. I can't use that. I mean, I can't, but that one, you know what I'm saying? Why well, go through that when you can just you know how to make your own shit? So, I mean, like, it's like 70%, man, learn how to make your own shit. 30%, yeah, just in case you have them days where you get stuck and you might need, like, someone else's creativity to produce that your own creativity you know what i'm saying yeah it sounded like me and you kind of got the same views on it i agree with you and the other producer that pretty much said like i mean i don't i don't really think it's really making beats for real if you yeah. if, from my opinion but i mean i don't they probably look at it like my word ain't all that credible because i'm not out here making beats and shit like that right but if you just taking a, a pretty much taking a a, a wave file mm -hmm. and putting it in there and just putting drums in there like are you really making beats that's like, what you, I don't you, really think you, you are ju you just 
you making the beat. I mean, yeah, you making the beat. You're not producing it. You're not. Right, right. You're not. You're not you ain't using your head, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like, and you brought up a good point. What mm-hmm. if you get into a room, somebody ain't feeling the beats that you play? Because it happens. 